for me, primarily, the Al-Anon program has been in the physical presence that I feel with the people who are in those rooms. It is the meetings. You don't always walk away with, with the solution to your problem, but you do walk away feeling better. Al-Anon is a very simple program for very complicated people. A place where I could be myself for the first time in my life without any pretenses or anything else, just being myself. There's no money from the government, uh, no grants from uh, outside foundations. It's, it's strictly past the hat at every meeting. And you're not obliged to put anything in that hat. It's a place that I can say anything I want, knowing that it will never be repeated by anybody, to anybody. You can go to one Al-Anon meeting and try it out. If you don't like it, you don't have to go back. I heard about Al-Anon about five years before I finally came in, and I just wish people wouldn't wait as long as I did. Well, our team follows the same traditions and slogans and guidelines as Al-Anon. I think people feel that, it, especially kids, feel it's very hard to talk in front of adults. So I think adults have to have somewhere where they can be away from children and discuss among themselves what's going on in their lives, and, and kids need that too. And it's growing, you know, both Al-Anon and Alateen. Somebody told me that there were more than 25,000 groups all over the world. I was up there at the international convention they had in Montreal, and it was the first one. There were just thousands of people up there, and it was amazing. i never forget it. Probably the first thing that uh, I learned, and it took me months to understand it, was uh, don't enable. And the enabling would have been to put up bail money for him and, and get him out on bail. But this good doctor that, uh, that referred us to Al-Anon in the first place, uh, she was one who said he has things that he has to make up for, he has things that he has to get straightened out in his mind. And if you, you turn him loose right now, he's no different than the day he went in. He's exactly the same. He has lessons to learn. We died a little bit each day that we knew he was, he was incarcerated and we could get him out and we didn't. But we did it for a purpose and so we did learn. And I think through us learning, he learned. And that's why he has completely turned his life around. I believe, I think that that's why. I can't even begin to explain how it has changed my life. I enjoy life. I take every opportunity I can to do the things I like, to enjoy myself, to enjoy other people. Whereas before Alateen, I hated myself. I hated my family. I hated everything about it. And now I just go through the day, one day at a time, the best to my ability. The only way I can is to think of myself first and realize that there is a sickness in my family and that it's not perfect and my life isn't going to be perfect but I can get through it. So life changes and, and I think that's what Al-Anon gave me, that life can change. Uh, the more you go to those meetings, the more you change and it's not like I have to change because of uh, I've got to get better, it's more like it just organically happens you want to it's like a good family it's like when you have a good family then you can go anywhere but you've got to have that first I really believe that um, and it was a secret that I didn't have one Happy birthday to you. I find today that I can give people unconditional love and know that they must go their paths and this of course is a reflection of the slogan live and let live I also, in that slogan, learned to live and learned to take my life by the horns and to take risks uh, venturing into things that I was unsure of, making my mistakes and growing up through my mistakes.